Before we begin, I want to give a big thank you to EA for flying us out to Australia so we could be a part of this event. What's good, everybody? Uh, it is Stompty here, and I have a very, very exciting guest with us today. So uh, EA FC Mobile uh, is coming out, and we have the one and only Timo, the gameplay producer uh, for EA FC Mobile. So thank you so much for coming on the channel. I'm very excited to have you here um, and ask you some questions about uh, gameplay in EA FC Mobile. Yeah, I'm very excited to be here. Uh, I'm watching your content, uh, so just excited to be on the show. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, it's my first interview, so we'll see, uh, we'll see how this goes, but I can't think of anybody better to have on this one. Um, I've talked uh, a few times with you about gameplay before, and I leave every conversation that I have with you just getting excited for it, and, and I mean, you know, such a passion for it, and, and I really appreciate that uh, in the conversation. So, so I mean, I, I have had a chance to play the beta, um, and, and I've, really, I've really enjoyed it. I've had a lot of fun uh, playing, especially on the, on the gameplay stuff. Um, and so, um, one of the things that I've been finding is there's a lot of new things in there. Uh, you got the power shots in there, um, the hard tackles, um, remember finding that one, uh, just like kind of swiping on different buttons to see what ends up happening. Uh, and then the ability to move your keeper on penalties, that one's mm -hmm. really kind of mm -hmm. fun. Uh, but I want to know, for you, what was your favorite new addition to, to gameplay, either to work on or just like to see kind of come out in that? I think I want to answer it in two ways. So my favorite feature has to be the power shot. Yes. <laughs> because it looks good, yeah. and if you score it, it's super rewarding. And I think there's that right sense of skill gap where you cannot just take it every time and be successful. You need to you know, you know, find the right moment to do it, power up correctly. But when it goes in and you get a beautiful replay of that, it's just, it's just okay. great. But I think for me, the best thing about it is that we worked on all these individual things like dynamic game speed, elite shooting system. Um, we have the, uh, the impact controls and all these things come together. And we build this individually, but then you put it together. Mm -hmm and we balanced it and now it creates a really cohesive new gameplay experience that I was hoping it would be, but it feel like it turned out better yeah. than I anticipated yeah. almost. And uh, I'm so proud of the team. Uh, we worked so hard on this yeah. and had this moment a couple weeks ago where I was just playing the build for like hours, yeah. for hours and I just had so much fun and it felt right. And, just excited to bring it to the world. Yeah, I feel like each game is very exciting, and I mean, I was even, and, and I feel like each game, something kind of new happens, and I, I mm. remember um, I was playing one uh, yesterday, actually, and uh, their opponent went out to the wing, and, and I, don't, I don't, can't recall who the player was, but one of my defenders, uh, my right back, uh, kind of almost jumped in for the, the ball because it was kind of coming in the air, and then as he did it, he, he missed it, but he, then he, he sort of like, so he fell off a little bit, but then he was able to come back, but just like the animation around mm. it, it seemed very like, unique and, and, and special to this EAFC Mobile. Is, is this something that's like new that we can kind of expect in, in the gameplay with EFC Mobile? Absolutely. We, we spent a lot of time adding new animations into, into the game. Of course, you have the power shot and the hard tackle. Those are already new animations, but we improved it in many different areas, shooting, defending, and we want to keep doing this. Uh, for us, it's important. And for me, making games is art, mm -hmm. and I love animations. Yeah. And having the diversity and the fidelity of animations is important. So yes, you can expect lots of more animations for the launch and post-launch. Um, I got uh, lucky enough to get Holland and Vinicius on my mm. uh, on my beta account, nice. and I've been doing some gameplay with them. And, and I just the first time I played with Holland, I was like, man, I can feel his presence as a striker. Mm. Like he's there, he's getting in the box. Like once he's through, it's very hard to stop him. Uh, you know, Virgil Van Dijk on defense, like he is really, really a strong defender. One of the kind of hardest defenders I feel like to get past in the game. Uh, Vinicius, like the ball, like I'm, I'm able to just, I feel like I'm moving faster, and mm. I feel like moving faster than I've ever have before. Uh, in gameplay, like I love the stick skill. I love just moving, you know, those things around. And, and he just feels so smooth with that. Is is this another thing that we've kind of going to see in the EFC Mobile? And, yes, yeah. oh. absolutely. And also nice for you to pick that up. So that's what we refer to as true player personality, which aims to make sure that players have distinct strength and weaknesses. And we want to make sure each player has a character and a role to play. So we did a large kind of attribute overhaul. So Haaland will be that clinical finisher, mm -hmm. but he will not be a good defender. Yeah. <laughs> but Van Dijk will be this physical presence, you know, tackling and headers and clearances. But if you attempt a power shot with Van Dijk, he will be less successful. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to create these roles and want to make sure there's, yeah, just um, 
character for every player. So it feels distinct and it also helps with team building yeah. and value of a player. Like when you get Holland or when you yeah. get Vinny yeah. and you play with them, yeah. it's supposed to feel unique and different. Yeah. And that's what we're aiming to do. So nice for you to pick up on those yeah. things. Uh, we have more details to share uh, with the deep dive that's coming in September. And, and I mean, even actually on the other side, um, the, the shooting and, and you mentioned shooting like Holland mm -hmm. or, or Van Dyke um, might miss a power shot. Um, and I kind of noticed that too. Like I have some of them. I feel like in the in the past times I've you know gone and tried to do a shot, maybe turning around and, mm -hmm. and do a beautiful shot into the back of the net. But this time it doesn't feel so much like that on the on the shots. Like I'll have a few where they might go not very powerful towards the net or you know kind of. But like and and it feels really satisfying. And I think in the position when I get off a really good shot in a really good position, is this also something then that is? Yeah. So this embodies our feature that's called elite shooting. And there's three aspects to that. So the first one is the user's aim. So we wanted to make sure if you're doing the right things and you have a good manual aim at the goal, you'll be more successful. Now, that doesn't mean if you're not aiming directly at the goal, you're going to miss, but your chances are simply going to increase. The second one is how you position your player. So what we didn't want to do is like, like in the current game, yeah. you could take like a shot not even facing the goal yeah. and you still have a high chance yeah. to get it on target, maybe yeah. even score, <laughs> yeah. or take Van Dyke and, and score from outside the box easily. So we made sure that, you know, we want to reward the, the user for doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. So if you put your player in a position like, hey, uh, the defender isn't close, my, my face angle towards the goal is good, you have a higher chance again to be accurate. And the last thing is, of course, attributes as well. Yeah. Right? That's another thing that kind of helps you with that and is a more determining factor in your success. Oh, very cool. Um, and so the other one uh, that I was noticing too that's, that's also new, uh, and one of the first things I feel like I noticed that was new, you know, swiping down the skill button and doing the knock on, oh, the yeah. hard stop, uh, uh -huh. the hard tackle. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, I mean, I've, I've really started to like to just, you know, do a little bit of a knock on, get into the box, try and get that power shot in, you know, oh, yeah. stats, especially with, say, with the new camera angle, the new replay angles, like, you know, it was really satisfying, really satisfying to score those yeah. goals. So question for you. Mm favorite skill move either to work on or to, to use in game for you of the yeah that's a good one I'm I'm in real life I'm not a skiller at all <laughs> I, have, I have like <laughs> minus one skill moves personally when I play I'm, I'm quite fast yeah and I like a power shot like yeah. in real life I, yeah. I shoot the ball hard and I run fast so more of a finisher kind of guy um, favorite skill move is probably the roulette yes, yes, yes. It's, it's a very basic one and maybe kind of like uh, fake left and go right. Yeah. Uh, more of the simple ones, I would yeah. say. Yeah. I think that, I know that skimmers often is a bit of a touchy subject in terms of the game balance, but I can also say that for FC Mobile, we, we really balanced our skimmers to work within the dynamic game speed, and you probably noticed that as well. Yeah, yeah. Like, we, we don't want to create a gameplay where you just, you do, consecutive skill moves and all you do is just mm -hmm. roulette down the field. We wanted to give more skill yeah. there. Uh, in terms of the ones that I like that come to life, uh, I like the drag back spin. It's yeah, kind yeah, of, that's a fun one. Yeah. And you know, it's maybe, you don't use it all the time, but when it works, yeah, I feel it's like it's, it's, a it's like, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm gonna use basketball terms here almost, uh, but like almost you kind of doing a spin move, yeah. you know, kind yeah. of rolling off the player. Yeah. And as you said as well, knock on, as a setup touch into a power shot, yeah. that might be my new favorite thing yeah. in FC Mobile. Yeah. Um, like if you're dribbling, if you're dribbling like parallel to the box, you yeah. know, and you do a knock on, and you kind of kicks it forward, and then you kind of step into the shot. It's just yeah. a really nice flow. Well, and I think I like too. Like I, I noticed when I was doing it, I tried like a couple knock ons, and and as a thing down the wing to try and get away, it works okay at the start if you're just doing one to get in there, but yeah. it's not. It's not the only thing that you can rely on, and I think that's yeah. something I really noticed in the new, in the beta, is that like it's skill moves are effective, but it doesn't need to be the only way you play the yes, game. Yes, I right? think the key word here is balance. Yeah. So it's very, very important for us, and we've been listening to the community a lot, and we, we listen and we hear this feedback. I want to make sure that everyone knows that. Yeah. And uh, for FC, we want to make sure the game is balanced in every way. The knock-on usually is kind of that first explosive touch to create separation. That's what we want. You want to kind of break away from a defender. But if you're trying to keep knocking down the, the field, the defender is going to catch up. There's a lot of different players, a lot of different uh, styles of players, a lot of different ratings of players. You know, you have your 60 overall pace to your 130 overall pace. Mm -hmm. You know, have a lot of different variations in this. Uh, on a gameplay side, mm -hmm. what is that like to kind of work with gameplay knowing that you have such a variation in yeah. in play styles players stats all of those things yeah great question again um you know for gameplay as i just said game balance is core 
We want to make sure we have a game that feels balanced and fair and fun and rewarding. And so when you start the season, you know, you have certain players and as you progress throughout a season, you will get higher rated players. Naturally, usually when you play competitively, you'll be in a similar kind of level of OVR. Mm -hmm. So it's really balanced. But of course, we do want to find that, 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 that sweet spot that there's a noticeable and tangible difference between attributes. So if you have a 60 rated player in pace versus mm -hmm. a 90 rated player in pace, you expect an yeah. to be faster. Like yeah. that's what you expect. But we have to make sure it is not so far that is completely game breaking. Yeah. And the thing is, it's not just about pace. For example, when you dribble, even in FC Mobile, now this is very important, uh, we, we ma made sure that even if there's a more noticeable difference in acceleration, like you will see that explosive first touch. Over the distance, the player will slow down because each time he has to take a touch, mm -hmm. he decelerates. Yeah. But the defender doesn't have to decelerate, he's just sprinting yeah, yeah, and catching yeah. you. So there's other ways where we can balance the game to make sure there are these differences, but they're more contextualized. Yeah, very cool. Well, thank you so much for everything and your time. Uh, it was an absolute pleasure. Enjoy talking Likewise. to you about the gameplay on EFC Mobile. And uh, there you go. So uh, our guest on this one, Timo, the gameplay producer of uh, EAFC Mobile. We'll see you later.